This video was produced by the UCD Math Support Centre in conjunction with the UCD Access Centre. The third type of question we can be asked about tangents is to find the equation of a tangent that is parallel or perpendicular to a given line. So in our example here, we're asked to find the equations of the tangents, so there's going to be multiple answers here, to the circle x squared plus y squared minus 6 minus 2y minus 15 equals 0 that are parallel to the line 3x plus 4y plus 20 equals 0. So you might recall that if we have an equation for line ax plus by plus c equals 0, a parallel line, a parallel line has equation ax plus by plus d equals 0. So the only thing that changes to get a parallel line is the constant value because you want the two equations to have the same slope. So the slope here is minus a over b. The slope here is still minus a over b. The only thing that's different is where your, where your line cuts the y-axis, the constant value here tagged on at the end. So the first step in the solution to this question is to write the general equation of a tangent to be 3x plus 4y, so the same as we have above, plus some other constant, let's call it c. So the whole goal of this question from now on is going to be to find out what the value of this c here is. So to do that, we're going to have to use our perpendicular distance again to find the values of c that give a tangent where the perpendicular distance from our center to our line will be equal to our radius. And again, just to make that picture a bit clearer, the reason we do that is because if we have we have a circle this time with some center point, say here, and we're given a line, say a line out here. It may not even intersect our circle, but say we're given a line here, and we want lines that are parallel to that, but a tangent to this circle. So you can see there are two answers already, the one that lies on top of the circle and the one that sits just underneath the circle. It's a tangent, so it touches the circle there. So these two lines touch our circle they're at one point, they're tangents, but they're parallel to this original line up here, this red line here. So what we're going to use is that perpendicular distance rule again, because we want the perpendicular distance from our center point to these lines to be equal to our radius r. So going back over here, the equation of our circle is this equation here. So we take our center by looking at these two numbers, minus 6 and minus 2. So our center in this case is the point 3, 1. Our radius is square root of g squared plus f squared minus c. Our c is minus 15, so minus by minus gives us plus 15 this time. So we take the square root of 3 squared is 9, 1 squared is 1, 15 it stays as it is. So we get square root of 5, square root of 25 rather, and we have a radius of 5. So we want the perpendicular distance from this line to this point to be equal to our radius. So our perpendicular distance formula, we just need to label our x1 
our y1, our a, b, and our c in this case is that unknown we're looking for. We're trying to find out what this value of c here is. So filling in our formula, we can see it's done here. So it's x1 times a plus b times y1 plus our c, our unknown, over the square root of a squared plus b squared is equal to our radius, 5. Working that down through, we're going to end up having something on the top that we're going to have to square. We have the square root of 25 on the bottom, so that's just 5. But in order to get rid of this modulus, we have to square everything, so top and bottom and the other side of the equals. And multiplying this 5 squared over here, which is 25, so on the right we have 25 times 25, and on the left we need to multiply out these brackets here, which gives us this line, bringing our 625 across the equals, gives us this equation here, and then we just have to factorize this equation, and we end up getting our two values for c are 12 and minus 38. So then we look back, we had our general equation where c was unknown, but now we have two answers for c, so we just fill those in. If c is 12, we have this answer here. If c is 38, we have this answer over here. So our two answers are 3x plus 4y plus 12 equals 0, and 3x plus 4y minus 38 equals 0. Those are our two answers.